peace, love, and gratitude. Okay, so <sighs> it's the winter. So I started my winter garden. And I'm going to show you what I have thus far. And um, keep it at that. Okay, so over here I have my snake plant, which I pretty much harvested from somewhere else. Now I'm keeping it alive in some water until I can get some pots to fill them up, put them around the house. There's the mint. It's coming back early for some reason, but I'm happy about that. And over here I got some kale coming in. I got some beets coming in. Oh, I think they are so pretty. Let me see if I can get it for you. I think the beets are so pretty. You can see their red um, stems already. So I got some beets coming in. I think this whole tray here is going to be beets. This is green peppers. I don't see any green peppers coming in yet. Oh, there's one. And this is the kale. This is don't this is the table where we light our candles, get our crystals and water and stuff charged by the sun and by the moon, blah blah. This is the hmm. My brother gave this to me. He said it was Spanish time. Finding out that it's some other kind of oregano, similar to what I put in the moss um today. The moss um smoothie. I'll show that video soon. Back here to the left is some more mint. It's a different kind. I'm not really sure. Right there is more mint. Right there is some more of that thyme I just showed you. And that's sweet potatoes. That's just a little cactus plant. I'm going to go slow. I'm going to pan really slow. Over here. Over here I got some spinach. Um, regular cabbage. Some Yates kale, some mustards, some broccoli right there, some hmm, green peppers. I'm going to unstack this because the sun is gone and some of it um, is going to need some sun in the morning. This is some uh, kale and I got some renegade spinach back there. Anyway, that's that. Over here, I got some spinach, some jalapeno, some cilantro, and parsley. Um, over here, this is my herb little bin here. Basically, right now, I got some sage growing. And I think this is some either chives or something, but I won't know until later, unfortunately. But I definitely know I seeded this thing several times with several different kind of herbs. I got two avocados here. Um, that is some of the Swiss chard that I had growing from last year. I love it because it just keeps coming back. So it's winter plant. And then the pomegranate is going to the fall, obviously. It's the leaves are changing. This is the volunteer lemon. We just found it out there in Succulent Row. I don't know how, I don't know if a bird picked up a seed and dropped it or if we dropped it, but that's it. Some oregano here. This is a skunk plant right here. All these are skunk. You got your rosemary. Over there, some basil down there behind this other skunk right here. Another skunk, another skunk. Um, some more sweet potato. Over there, some more kale. Um, it's a jalapeno. I don't see anything growing on there right now. I don't see no flowers, no peppers. I think I harvested the last one. Is that a flower on there? No, I don't see one. I mean, these, these hummingbirds are kicking up a, I'm gonna let you see them in a minute, but they're kicking up a storm behind me. I got some purple basil over here. Let me see if we can get a close up on that. And then there's the peach. And then there's the, the lime. Um, what else? There's another uh, sweet potato over here, but here's the birds. This is what I come out to every day. 
And they don't let me too close to the water, even though I'm the one that feeds them. They don't let me too close to the water. Um, look at her. Look at her with her pink cell. So, yeah, I'm right in the middle of their water, and they just, you know, they get a little, I don't know why they do that, but they're communicative, as you can see. <laughs> It's almost like they're saying, look, that's our water. And I'm like, look, I put it here. I know it's yours. And then here's some lily right here with these berries on it. And I'm assuming that those berries are going to turn into a flower. I don't know why them berries are there. I honestly do not. So I'm not even going to talk about it. And I got some clove, some red clove here. This is very medicinal. Um, okay, I'm going to move out your way. I'm just going to move. All right, I'm just gonna move. So yeah, that's the um, that's the garden today. And what it's looking like. Just cactus and the piles. We eat those too. Well, I don't. I'm not really fond of the piles, although I really haven't given them an opportunity to prove themselves to me. But um, <clears throat> very popular here in California and Mexico, obviously. Look at them, they're just having a ball. Look at her pink chest. He's just fighting. I don't know why. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. And this is what they do every day at certain times of the day when they know the sun is about to go down they really get frantic because they know they're not going to get any more till tomorrow look at her sitting up on there <laughs> anyway thank you for coming to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and hope you're having a wonderful um garden winter and um see you in the next one